Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Today we're gonna do one of the uh, side quests for the Uncrate children. So today we're gonna do the quest for Croc's daughter, Saris, namely Possession. And I must say it's one of my favorite uh, quests that I have done already, since there are a lot of quests that I never have done. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Because uh, we need to find Udalric, the leader of the clan of this island. I think his name is Twirsak. I'm not really sure, but um, that he's the leader of clan Twirsak. But we're gonna see in a minute. There he is. We'll be done in a moment. And there's a teller the advising him. A giant him. sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. So he's clearly bothered by some thing. A bunch of dreams which uh, require him to here. sacrifice daughter. something. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. And he's clearly distracted. Um. What happened to the man? Because we want to help Sarah. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but. Ah! Oh. Forgive me. Okay. I must go to him. Where's Sarah? What just happened? Gotta find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember about Storm Carson all the but I am curious about what happened over here. But I'm not going to be able to see that right now. Because he screamed his head off. So, let's go back outside and ask around to see if anyone in the village knows where Saris has gone. I don't think she... Uh, she wouldn't go unnoticed in this little village. She looks like a really strong woman. Strong, independent woman. Hello, Scaliger women. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day, guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler. Hungry. And looking for a young woman. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bechthora and Eirik. Bechthora and Eirik. Okay or then. Bechthora and Eirik. Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bechthora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Thank you for the information, uh, milady. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Sarah when you see her. Okay. So that's apparently the house next door. Uh, or, no, Bertora is over here. Ooh, this dog needs a petting. Hello, Bertora. I could have married a continental man. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are, then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. <laughs> Uh, thank you. How <laughs> lovely you say. Can I meet them? Uh, let's just go for Sarah's. I'm looking for Sarah's. Well, I mean, uh, that we're looking for her. No, yeah. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gone as a sapling. I don't There's know where she is. Still misunderstanding me. Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, Impressive. she was here a few hours. Went to find me man Irish. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the aisle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Thank you. So I'm getting tossed around from one end to the other of <laughs> this oh, island. Bridget. 
So uh, let's go to the coast and I'll see you there in a second. So, find Eirik. Um, well, I oh, <laughs> that's not really hard to find now, is it? He's on top of the rock. There we go. Hello, Eirik. Fucking new dabber! Swimming like gulls around the waist heap. Bye, be sure we showed him. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Yeah, he I didn't do shit. You'd be herring bit about now. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. Need your help. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not Drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Okay, and what did she ask you about? Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? Just about our Jarl and his family. And... Where did you go afterwards, but... And what did you tell her about the Jarl and his family? You're not gonna tell me? Okay, never mind. She say where she was headed. Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. So she is very interested in uh, Udelric's no uh, past. Uh, Udelric's old home yonder on the hill. That thing over there, probably, then. Um, is there a road that leads towards that? Probably around the mountain, so see you guys there in a minute. Well, I found the mountain trail that also let, leads to this house, apart from what the, uh, the marker told me to do. Okay, why is it getting dark? It's getting a bit creepy. Hello. Okay. What's that black sludge seeping from the ceiling? Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Okay. Um. I don't like the Ceres. noises in here. She Pass doesn't down. look so good. Gotta get her out of here. Artistic panning shot. Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. Yeah, she won't want to hear that. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go into the house? Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. Okay, then, and what's so important about this sword? So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Now it's making inter uh, becoming interesting since Udelric is not a Jarl. I'm gonna suppose that didn't end well for Aki. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. 
didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't An hear. accident. We didn't want to hear. Some folk on the isle had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. Okay, then, so he killed his own brother. What do you think? Did Udoric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udoric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. Fine. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Sounds probable. But where do you get the idea? Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. Oh, so that were the sacrifices. Not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So there's at least something in his head telling him to hurt himself. So, uh... You think Aki wants revenge? So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Sounds idea, good. On condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Don't uh, tell the woman what to do, but hey, let's find that sword. Um... There's not much around here that I can actually open. There's a chest in the back. Just has water. In the first check, uh, all the doors over here. There's a key. Ah, the key to the cellar in the corner over there. So uh, there's probably nothing in here then. Uh, nope. And in the back, there's also a chest, probably uh, only a platter. So let's open the cellar door. Let's see what's down there. There we go, down the ladder. Oh, great. There's a wraith here. I do want to get my Quen sign up. There's something on the table over here. Brockford, there we go. Holy, what the hell? What is this about? A him. Okay, that was not an ordinary ghost. So, that was a creature called a him. I think we're going to learn more about that in a minute. Okay, let's go bring the sword back to Ceres and tell her what we've seen as well, because that was interesting. So, did you find the sword? Yeah, I found it. Let's go. After you then. Okay, he apparently won't mention it to Ceres, you which is dad. kind of weird. We were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Well, that's the way to put it. Maybe he's a bit masochistic to, uh, Stay with Yennefer. But actually, that's a decision I made in the, one of the previous episodes. 
But hey, let's go find out if the sword will actually change anything. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? <laughs> Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Well, you're right about that one, especially Look, if... there they are. If I'm uh, to meet another woman, but... Hurry, Look at his hands. Right here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. He clearly hurt God, his hands since the last time. Jarl, our guests, remember. Okay, what happened? What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. Okay, then. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. Okay, then, about those voices, because that's not really normal, is it? These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. Um, let's try his brother. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Hmm. Don't be afraid. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. He has another child, apparently. What did you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay. Current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want us. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? So another task for me? Anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Okay, um... We need to place the sword near Aki's remains. And those remains are on a certain part of the island, which I need to get to. I'm gonna use the boat, so uh, see you guys there in a minute. I'm gonna take a little sailing trip. So see you guys there. Must be the place. Yeah, we have arrived at Aki's resting place, if you wanna call it that. So I'm gonna take a little dive. Probably gonna be a few sirens apparently over here. But if I stay out, out of their way, no, apparently not. That's one. There we go, okay. So let's find the remains, um, over there, yeah, I've seen it. So his ring must have survived all this. So let's swiftly surface before I uh, die out of breath. If the controls would let me. There we go. What that accomplished, if anything. And to see you 
So I'm gonna head back so see you guys back at the uh, Udalric's place in a minute. And let's hope that actually did something. That we didn't come here for nothing. So back in town, let's hope that uh, everything worked out and that Udalric is... Well, never mind about that. Because he seems to have sacrificed something else right now, except... Yeah. Okay. Why'd you do it? Last night was... What is this? Udalric? The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. Oh, what? God. Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Ooh, that must have hurt like a bitch. Okay, so um, what did the gods say exactly? Because this is clearly what not the, the ghost want? of Aki. Exactly. Do you remember? What did they tell you? We they saw that him them. in the basement all ready, so... Uh, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer and regret the evil you've wrought. Um, and when did they talk to you? When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches. Then speak from the shadows. That's a very specific answer, isn't it? Um, have you ever seen them? The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. And do they always demand an offering of pain? Do they always demand you to hurt yourself? The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Interesting. They don't like light. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. Hmm. We need to talk. Ceres, let's, uh... Because this man is out of his mind. And there we go. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Because we saw that him figure in his shadow as well. There we go. That's not his normal shadow. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. <laughs> you can try to trick it. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. Now we have to sure beat it the normal way. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. And that's I what we're gonna do, because that's what makes this besides, quest so interesting. It's perfect. What do you mean? So, uh, it's very hard to trick the Heim. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, 
the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Yes, indeed. Hmm. And what about the other method? So, uh, well, Udelric might not survive because he's a pretty weak man right now. Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both Indeed. methods seem risky. But I still think we should try the trick. Don't and I agree. Convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If Are we you jealous, Ceres? We can always try the Witcher's Way. Okay, let's try... <laughs> what was that about Yennefer? Let's try tricking it. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Let's go now. No reason Because that's going to teleport me over there and make it a bit easier on me. 440 experience points. Well, thank you. Let's look around. Yeah, let's search the house and find a way to drive off the Heim. So we have this oven over here. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Which makes, uh, well, a bit of extra information. What else is there in this house? What the hell is this? Siri. No, it's impossible. Yep, Damn. there we go. Looking the to discourage me. Is Good. tricking Geralt already. That was kind of creepy. So there's a wooden plank here, apparently. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Interesting. Um, for the rest, there seems to be a picture frame over here. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Ooh, yeah, in your reflection, that would scare the bejesus out of me as well. And there's a cradle over An here. Old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Okay then. Sounds great. Why are you still outside? Still too weak to be inside the house? Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Okay, then. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Okay, I trust you. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? She didn't sound very confident. But let's start. I'm ready. Alright, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. A fire in the oven. What is she up to? Over there! She's running to the old house! Okay, and there she is with the baby. That's Ulrich's child. Why are his eyes oven. black? Trust me. Put him in the oven! Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the baby. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. And now we have a decision to make. Let's put him in the oven. We need to trust her. And then Geralt goes and puts a quen sign around the oven. Oh, 
Well, that's uh, guilt, all right. I don't want to kill these guys, but uh, if they're going to force me... And now the guilt is real with Geralt. So at least that part of the trick worked. The question is, what happened to the baby? Why? And there's the baby, safe and sound. And the child is named after his dead brother. Which is fitting. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. And the Heim is defeated. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. So if you're wondering how the baby survived... What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? Don't worry. You're disoriented. But don't worry, it'll pass. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. So that's the possession quest. I was going to explain how the baby actually survived. Because you might have uh, seen it him. for he yourself. What will you do now? Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speaker Rock? Don't know yet. Speaker Rock. Gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Why are you even interested? What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. <laughs> Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you're you, welcome, Ceres. So I'm going to quickly show you what actually happened here. There actually is an opening... Oh, I can't even open this anymore. There's an opening behind the oven that has another uh, one of those, well, hatches. As you might have seen when I entered that room before. I don't think you can really see it anymore. And that's how she got the baby out immediately after I put it in. And that's how the baby survived. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed this quest. I think it was a really, really interesting side quest uh, with a creature that I think doesn't come around anymore, the Heim. So uh, I'm going to take a little break. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because it really helps uh, in supporting me in making these videos. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!